after you've finished your setup for your conditions, you can begin to use the health history module. I'm using a sample new patient to demonstrate how to add conditions. In the upper left-hand corner, click on the red cross with the yellow starburst. And from the drop-down, you have the option to add multiple conditions, allergies, and medications at one time, or individually with notes. If you add them multiple items at the same time, you can still go in and individually edit each condition for your patient. I'll show you both ways. To add more than one at a time, click Add Multiple. And the left-hand side of your screen lists all of your available medical conditions. And scroll down, there's a divider for allergies as well as patient-reported medications. To select multiple items from the list, click on the first item, hold the Control button on your keyboard down, to select multiple. When you're done, click add. The upper right hand corner shows you all of the conditions that you're attaching to the patient at this time. The lower right hand corner shows you that current patient's health history prior to this. As you can see, each of the conditions that I've added has a status of active with today's date as the reported date. If I want to change any of this, I can double click on a condition and change the start date to whenever the condition first occurred. If I want to make a note on this particular condition, I can do so at this time. To add a medical condition one at a time, simply click on the condition. And it's in this screen you can immediately begin to edit the reported date, start date, as well as notes. Let's say that this patient became pregnant in the beginning of August of this year. I can future inactivate this condition when I'm in an individual mode. Select the condition and add your notes. As you can see, the inactivated date has a future date listed, but the status is still active. For other conditions that you wish to inactivate right away, simply click on the white cross icon from your toolbar at the top. This will automatically inactivate your condition. As you can see in the status column with today's date, and if you don't want to see your inactive conditions, you can opt to hide them by clicking on the hide inactive icon from your toolbar. When adding patient medications, your database is going to be pretty sparse at the beginning. When you click on the carrots next to the medication box, all of the available medications that you've entered in Dentrix will be available for you to choose. If the one you want isn't listed, simply click on the setup wheel in the lower left-hand corner of this screen. This takes you to the health history setup. Click on the medications tab and click add in the upper right-hand corner. Type in your medication. And decide if it's critical or not and whether or not it needs a pop-up. Click OK and close the screen. 
the medication you added is now available for you to select. Click OK to attach it to this patient. I recommend at this time that you don't put dosages in the actual description of the medication. You can, however, put the dosage in the notes of it. This allows you to have aspirin listed one time in your database instead of several different aspirins with different dosages to choose from. On the right-hand side, health history notes can be added just as they were before. New sections and fields include the emergency contact, physician contact, and preferred pharmacy. To use these features, click on the carrots next to the field and click on new. You can enter the relationship to the patient for emergency contacts. Physicians, again, it's a database. Once you start to add physicians into the system for other patients, they'll be available here to choose from for additional patients. When you're starting out, this will be blank. You can also decide the specialty of this patient, of this physician. The same goes for preferred pharmacy. Any pharmacies you've already added for other patients will be available for you to choose and attach to your current patient. If the one you want isn't listed, again, click new to enter your pharmacy information and location. You can access health history questionnaires if you are using questionnaires through e-services in Dentrix. You can also see in the lower right-hand corner which forms they filled out and when they expired. From the toolbar at your top, you can quickly get to prescriptions and you can also copy the current version of your medical history to the patient's clinical notes in the chart. And last but not least, my favorite feature is that you can quickly print and view an easy to read format of your entire patient's medical history in a snapshot. This is great if you're going to show something to a patient as far as their current health history to see if there's any changes.